Okay, I got a real small studio. So doing opening packages uh, in a small studio is really hard to do. But I'm going to do the best I can. I got this from Sculpture Depot in Loveland, Colorado. They sent me their armatures for horses. So I could demonstrate to you how they are used. For those of you who want to sculpt horses, this is a great, great tool. They send uh, instructions on how to put together the uh, armatures. They're called true form armatures. This is uh, what it says on this piece of paper. Our true form equine armature is based on these general measurements of a fleshed out equine. 15 to 15.2 15 heads high equine, or 50 to 62 inches at the withers. 24 to 25 inches at the head length. Please make sure your clay is warm when you apply the first coat to the rib cage. All right, this is the uh, arm <coughs> the armature they send that uh, will hold the horse up. Now, this is the horse, the way it comes. And uh, let's see, I'll get it in the camera here. And you just have to straighten out everything. But let me show you what I'm thinking of doing here. Now they send it with a uh, pre-made board with pre-drilled holes for the uh, support. And uh, they send you screws to go with that. And I'm going to do that and mount this up and I'll be right back. Now before I mount this, there are ways that you can adjust the armatures or the supports um angle depending on what you want the horse to be doing whether it's jumping or rearing up uh, you can adjust it by cutting a block of wood with a uh, angle to it and then just uh, bolt this onto the uh, the angled piece of wood you can angle this any way you want to um, and you'll have to adjust the base and all that stuff when you do that but use your imagination with the uh, mounting of the horse and you'll find it quite easy. I'm holding the camera for this uh, video, this part of the video, but I want to show you at the top of this rod, which is, uh, you can adjust the height by a uh, wing nut here. And uh, you see that uh, groove? That's what the uh, backbone armature wire fits into. To support the horse. Now I'll show you what I'm doing. Doing also, they supply a nut that uh, you can tighten up the uh, nut down onto the backbone armature of the uh, horse uh, to uh, make it more solid on the uh, armature. So you just bring it down and you put it into that groove. And uh, then you put the nut on top of uh, the rod and start to tighten it up. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and try to do the best I can to tighten this up in camera. Okay, I want to raise up the, the horse. And I'm going to tighten that up as well. All right. Now raise.
raise up the head of the horse. I think I want it a little taller than this because uh, I need some room for the uh, hoofs and a base. If you want to put a base, but either way, I'm going to turn that just like that. Get these legs out of the way. Now there's a safety uh, thing that you need to think about. There's nothing in the foam leg. Uh, there's a, a wire that you can actually dis detach at the joints if you want to and work on a little more detailed area of like say the hoof and stuff like that. Um, but you don't want to grab it and move it like this because you might break the uh, foam leg. So what you want to do is uh, when you want to change the angle of that leg's uh, position, you want to grab at the top here and change it there. I'll do the same thing with the other side. There you go. Never ever change the position of the uh, bone structure uh, or the ang or the angle of the legs or the bones of the legs uh, by pulling on the bottom part. They always do it at the joint. That uh, goes for any of the uh, armatures made out of this foam. I'm going to raise it up just a little bit more. Pretty solid. And then just a matter of uh, adjusting your uh, legs. Uh, let me show you. Here. So I want to very carefully change the angle of the uh, bottom leg. And that's how you do it. You just grab the uh, upper part and the lower part and just uh, change the angle. All right, the uh, shoulder of the horse is not connected by any joint. It's all on there by muscle. And so when you move the, the uh, shoulder, it moves the way it should show, move on an actual horse's skeleton. Another thing that uh, is done for you is the uh, shape of the uh, the hips. That is probably the most complicated part of the horse is the actual structure of the hips. And that's all done for you as well. They sent me also the uh, skeleton of a uh, human and uh, there are two holes. Let me show you. You see those two holes in the uh, thorax of the uh, human? Well, you've got two wires. You've got two wires, and it's marked where the rib cage should come down on that wire to make it proportional. And what you do is you just put the uh, two wires into those two holes and you can bring the rib cage down to where it should be on the human and it's proportional to this horse this particular armature of a human it's got the skull it's got the the hips all done and uh, you can just 
adjust the curvature of the spine. And uh, again, these are delicate bones in the uh, foam. It's a strong foam, but you got to be careful with it. And so, say you want to mount him on the horse, you've got to grab onto the uh, upper part of the leg joint and uh, femur and uh, do all your adjustments just like you did on the horse and uh, let's get that adjusted here it, it, you have to really think about it when you're doing the changing of angles because it could break now I'm going to try to put this on the horse and show you what it looks like and it fits on the horse perfectly let me get my head out of the way all right you got this hole this empty hole here and you can fill that with clay and if you want to put an armature to hold the armature of the uh, uh, person on the horse you can put uh, a wire uh, down inside the uh, cavity here and fill, fill it with clay around it and uh, create a solid armature to hold that cowboy or that, that uh, equestrian on uh, the horse properly and so that it won't be falling off. Of course, you do all the adjustments after you place it on the horse and mount it. All right, I've uh, mounted the uh, figure on the horse and it's uh, about 27 inches tall. Let me just quickly check that. No, 25 inches tall. It's a big, it would make a big sculpture, but uh, I think it's amazing. Something this size is uh, would be a beautiful piece. You'd have to use a lot of clay, though. <laughs> Probably have to get about 50 pounds of clay, but Sculpture Depot sells the clay that you would need. Um, I use JMAC uh, medium grade, and it works out just fine. When you put the clay on, you've got to have it the clay soft. So that it adheres to the uh, armature. This uh, foam is slick, and uh, if you don't have the clay <coughs> soft when you put it on here, it won't stay on. But uh, having everything worked out for you ahead of time, so that you don't have to worry about it, like the hips of the person. Uh, all that stuff, the hips of the horse, the uh, length of the joints and the bones and all that stuff worked out pers perfectly um, ahead of time. And you're, you're going to have to use your imagination for how to change the angle of the, the horse and all that stuff. Uh, let me show you. Now, this is what I was talking about as far as changing the angle of the horse. You can uh, raise it up and have it coming down a hill. All this stuff would have to be done with wood, pieces of wood cut at different angles. But the, the possibilities for positioning of the horse is limitless. It's only restricted by your own imagination. And say a horse is running and you got want to have it at an angle, you can just uh, do that with wood blocks and stuff like that. This base is just uh, here for uh, keeping it all uh, on something. You can put it on any base you want. You can order the base with it, or you can say, I don't want the base with it, and you can cut your own board. And... Uh, that will work out fine too. So that's the uh, little instructional thing here on how to uh, use and put together a 
equine armature and an equine armature with a human figure on it. Now, I think it only comes, the human figure to scale is only with the uh, large uh, horse armature. They don't have it for the, uh, the other sizes. They do have several sizes. And uh, I highly recommend their armatures and their materials that they sell at Sculpture Depot. They were kind enough to send me these uh, armatures today and uh, so I could demonstrate it to you. They want you to know how to use them and kind of familiarize you with the uh, use of them. Good night, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.